to continue my uh, X2, um, I just uh, turn on the car um, so that the battery will not get drained. Um, so this is the X2. I, I bought this on Amazon for $129. Um, so when you install it, um, you'll get the this uh, main menu which has the report, the special function, setting and the update. The, the, the report, you could actually store report here. Like for me, I have report for Volvo. And yeah. Um, yeah, this is the time when uh, um, my transmission was acting really bad. Yep. And also this one. Yeah, the CEM, I was able to get some like uh, errors in here and the climate control module, the upper electronic module, the siren. These are the errors that I get. Yep. Unfortunately, it cannot get the uh, the mileage though. I mean, even though been on this one, uh, it might be a missing feature. So that's nice that it could uh, store the report, and then we got also the data playback. Yeah, but this is like uh, an OBD. I think this is from my friend's Nissan. Yep, uh, we were like doing some uh, some test though, it's very short, yeah. We were just doing some tests before. And then there's a special function. So we got the oil reset, electronic parking brake, gearbox mass, SAS, uh, steering angle sensor, ABS, injector coating, airbag reset. The battery registration, TPMS reset, and the gear learning. Uh, these are all free. In some other um, scanner, you have to pay for this. And then uh, updates, updates actually, uh, it contains all brands of cars that you could actually download and install. The, these are, the licenses for these are all free. So yeah, pretty much all cars actually, even Chinese cars, they have some of them. Yep. And you could even like do an updates all if you want to, but for me, I didn't because uh, uh, it, it gets cluttered uh, you get so many like for example this one I got uh, for American car I have the Cadillac so um, you could download like the Buick 2 Ford if you want uh, Chrysler you could also do that so Asian you got Nissan Honda Toyota and Lexus for European I got Volvo Mercedes and BMW uh, you could add Porsche in there and uh, OD Volkswagen if you want to um, no cost and then we got the generic OBD2 you could do a generic OBD2 uh, scan too if you want and then if I do an auto scan which is convenient yep, it could detect like what brand of car do you have what kind of engine and then the VIN number The year it's 2005 B8444S. Then I say okay. Then I would do automatic scan and then it will start scanning. Yep, I got failures here. So 18 of 25 modules, 19, 25. So it's really fast, actually. It's not a, it's not a very slow scanner. My Odell is actually slow, but this one is really fast. So it's done. Then I could do a DTC report. Yep, so the DTC report says that I have this error. Parking lamps, oh, so you get the SIM, central electronic module, parking lamp relay signal too high. So I probably I got a bad relay there or a bulb. That's the thermistor 
for the CCM and then the, the siren. Yep. I don't care about these errors. Um, and then for the engine control module, you could click diagnose, then it will go to that module. And then you could read the trouble codes, clear the trouble codes, and then you could also see live data. So there's a lot of data here that you could see. Lots of information, AC, air conditioning, mass airflow, fuel pressure. Yep. Yeah. I, yeah. When when I was having problems with this one, I don't need to like put in like a, a pressure gauge. And you also have the duty cycle of fuel pump. So it's very convenient because you don't need like a, like a, a voltmeter or a power probe or a fuel pressure gauge to do all this kind of of, uh, of diagnostic. You know. Uh, it, it's really convenient to have this um, you could also like do like uh, you could select some of them and then you could like combine the data then there's a data recording and then you could do like a playback for that while you're like driving it or or even just a, for like a few seconds you could do like data recording for this and, and, it, and it will store that in your phone you could retrieve it and then there's the actuation test, which is the bi-directional control. Um, for this one, I don't know what the cylinder one, cylinder two does. I haven't tested it out, but you could like force the AC relay to turn on and then the cooling fan to turn on, see if your cooling fan is working fine. And then including the throttle bulb too, you could actually like change it. Even the variable intake bulb, uh, you could actually change it, so. Yep, even the leak leakage detection module valve um, and then the purge valve, uh, these are like common to fail. Um, so you basically don't know if the if the motor or the valve is uh, busted. Um, it's really hard to figure out. Maybe it's a hose thing. So so you need to figure out like uh, is it the hose or is it the pump or the solenoid that's bad. So yeah, with this, yeah, it's it's really convenient. Then we could go to the, uh, even for the ABS, yeah, there's also some helpful uh, directional stuff in here. Like the pump motor activation, the YO control, yep, your YO sensors. I think you could actually see the, st the status there, like the, from the data, you could actually figure out if your YO sensor is uh, bad because it will have like invalid values. Uh, same thing with uh, the wheel speed sensors. Like, uh, yeah, you could figure out like, uh, yeah, this one. Yeah, which, uh, which of these sensors are actually like not reporting. So you could figure out which one. You don't need to like do a multimeter or you could verify actually from the DTC code which which side is it or which 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 wheel is working bad um, let me see so we'll check the error here central electronic module diagnose um, let me see got the, I got a trouble code there we'll see yeah, this is weird. Uh, I don't know. I think this is a bug. It reported that there's an error, but it's a but it cannot communicate. So you get the headlight activation in there, brake lamp on, main beam activation of fuel pump relay. Yep. So there's a fuel pump relay there. Um, let me see the climate control. So, yep, you got the, oh, the climate control doesn't have any bi-directional control. Oh, that's weird. Oh, I forgot to check the uh, DTC on that one. So, the DTC on this, yeah, this, the, yeah, this is the thermistor problem. Yep. 
and uh, yeah we could also like check the rear electronic module yeah you could also the actuation test yep like the fog light the uh, stop light uh, check the yeah the lock unlock uh, motor for the doors then the fuel lead unlock too to do that um, let me see what about the steering wing angle sensor what can we do with this one so there are no bidirectional control for the okay so so it says right steering wheel angle let me try move the steering wheel oh. Let's see if it changes so oh, live data so if I move this yep so my steering angle is working perfectly it's left right yep this is how you test if your steering angle is bad so I will say yes exit it and then um, I think I could do go to the report and then uh, yeah there it is it's saving it and then the report is nicely read and nicely printed out so it's kind of funny that uh, it reported that the, uh, the parking relay lamps are bad on the central model but we cannot read the, the trouble code there so I think it's a bug Oh, and then uh, actually we tried the live data <laughs> it actually like printed it out too it's kind of funny yeah, we didn't intend to report it but uh, somehow what you did there it tries to yeah even the steering angle sensor uh, the live data yeah so it reported it. okay well that's not bad then the data playback yeah you could you could do the playback on that live data if you want to so it stores it uh, I think that's it yep so yeah I'm gonna probably like uh, uh, spend some more time testing this one out on other cars but so far so good